hey there so bear with me for one minute 60 seconds and i will provide you with all the info you need to pick the right dynamic preset according to your needs then if you want uh, more details and insights keep watching the video for a more relaxed explanation so i think i can do this let's go all vsl libraries now share the same preset structure so for old and brand new VSL libraries, you will always find these three starting presets with the only difference amongst them being the way you control the dynamic. Preset number one is the preset the large majority of you is probably looking for. With this preset, your short articulations are controlled by velocity and your long articulations are controlled with the mod wheel. That's how the large majority of your libraries from other developers work. With preset number two, all articulations, including short notes, are controlled with mod wheel. While with the preset number three, all articulations are controlled by velocity, including legato and sustain notes. Remember, whatever the preset you pick, you can always customize it according to your preferences. And that's because you can always decide for each articulation individually if you want to control it via velocity or with the mod wheel. Remember also, mod wheel is just the default control assigned to the velocity crossfade, but you can easily assign whatever controller of your choice. Now, if you want to know more about these presets and when to use them, and if you want to see how to customize them, keep watching this video. Hi, this is Fabio, and in this video I would like to guide you through the new preset structure that now applies to all VSL libraries with the brand new data that come with the switch to the iLock. It's a great change with more consistency, more options, and all updates already integrated. The topic of this video is dynamic control, maybe the most essential ingredient for convincing virtual orchestration. A few general rules apply that will work most of the time, but if you want to get the best result possible, there are always exceptions and, of course, personal decisions to make. That's why our friends in Vienna offer us the possibility to customize these presets according to our preferences. So don't be shy and experiment. If you have always worked with third-party libraries for contact, you may never had the chance to decide which kind of control to use for your dynamic. And I bet you had a couple of times where you would have loved to customize something within a patch only to find out you simply cannot change a thing. With VSL, you will learn that you can customize pretty much every parameter and aspect of the instrument that come with their custom sample players. So, with the switch to iLock protection, VSL took the chance to rework all their products with a consistent preset structure using the mod wheel for three different scenarios. Velocity crossfade source mode, velocity crossfade mode, and velocity. First, I'd like to tell you what all these terms stand for. Let's start with the last one, as I think it is the easier to understand the differences. As you know, velocity can be explained as the speed of your finger as it hits a key on your keyboard. The harder or faster you'll hit a key, the louder the sound. You will pick this preset if you want to play a VSL instrument as you will do with the live keyboard or like with older libraries where every articulation, including long notes and legados, were controlled by velocity exclusively. The disadvantage of this setting is that you can't shape the dynamic behavior of a sustained note with your mod wheel. Velocity crossfade is the name VSL gives to the parameter that lets you crossfade between the dynamic levels of an instrument, from pianissimo to fortissimo, with a controller of your choice. Mod stands for mod wheel, which is the default control for velocity crossfade. A note on the side, you can easily activate or deactivate velocity crossfade with the little power button next to it. And you can even automate this. If you pick this preset, you get the opposite of the velocity preset, the dynamic of every articulation, including the short notes like the staccados, are controlled with your mod wheel. SUS in the velocity crossfade SUS mod preset stand for sustained, that means that this preset uses the mod wheel to control and shape 
the dynamic behavior of all sustained articulations, such as legatos, tremolos, or trills, while it uses velocity to control the dynamic of short articulation, pizzicato, spiccato, for example. From theory to practice, here is a quick recap and a few examples on how you should choose the right preset according to your needs. You want your short articulations to be controlled via velocity and your sustained articulations to be controlled by mod wheel. Always choose number one, velocity crossfade SUS. This is the dynamic control setting you almost always experience with your libraries from other developers. Situation number two, you want to control the dynamic of all your articulations with velocity crossfade, go for the second preset, velocity crossfade mode. Sometimes you want to control the dynamic of your instrument to be consistent and steady regardless of your playing performance. Here is an example. I would struggle much more trying to create this constant and long dynamic crescendo as I focus in following the click, so that's when this could come handy. If you want to control all your articulations via velocity, you're best off with the classic velocity presets. With this preset, even the dynamics of sustained articulation are controlled by velocity. This was something pretty standard in the past, and you will still achieve great results especially if you use sustained notes with integrated expression changes performed by the players when the samples were recorded. For example, the Espressivo sustains you often find in the new Synchron series products. This could be also your best option if you are playing this instrument live, by the way. Note that for compatibility reasons with earlier versions, CC2 is assigned to velocity crossfade here but you can always change this quickly to any other controller, if you like. Now, remember, these are pre-made and fully functional presets meant to save you a ton of time, but you could also see them as starting point for your own custom presets. For example, I would personally always start from the Crossfade SUS mode preset. So, let's open this kind of preset for the Synchron Strings Shelly. Now, I'm happy with everything, but I'd love to try how it will feel to control the detaché with the mod wheel instead of the velocity. I just need to click on the detaché slot in the dimension tree, go to the edit tab and switch velocity crossfade on. Now velocity crossfade is activated for that specific articulations only, but it's easy to add more exceptions. So, these were the most essential information you need to know about the preset structure all DSL libraries now have in common. Of course, you will also see that all new options have been added whatever it makes sense musically, and you will find that the new Timber Adjust feature will become a very good friend of yours when it comes to fine-tuning dynamics. More about that in another video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section or contact the support team in Vienna. Enjoy your DSL libraries, thanks for watching and see you soon.